and welcome back to my channel. Today is Monday and I thought because I've got a few things going on this week that I would vlog and just bring you guys along with me. But before I kind of dive into this week, I wanted to share some news with you, which if you don't follow me on Instagram, you may not know, but I recently decided to make the shift towards going freelance, which is really exciting for me. It's also really scary. It's totally new because I've never not worked for someone else. So now I'm my own boss, which is very, very different different uh, and largely in part I wouldn't have been able to do that without all of your support because I've gotten so many opportunities from having my blog and from doing YouTube so I just wanted to say a huge thank you from the bottom of my heart to every single one of you uh, essentially what this means is that I'm gonna have more time to focus on doing videos and things like that but I'm also gonna be doing client work too so I guess I could say I'm doing part-time freelance part-time YouTube and my blog maybe <laughs> uh, so today what's on the agenda is i'm going to be filming a 15 item work wardrobe lookbook so that should already be live when this vlog goes up so i'm going to link that up here for you if you want to go and watch it uh, i've had so much interest in my last one so i thought it'd be great to do a little bit of a follow-up and also show you 20 outfits i think i'm gonna do so that should be a bit of fun. I've also got some work to get through and I need to go into the city at some point as well. I just want to go check my PO box and I want to pick up a couple of things. So that's kind of what's on the agenda today. Uh, I will check in with you a little bit later on because I think I've gotten a little bit of a um, pocket where there's no rain so I can film a talking segment. <laughs> so yeah, I'll see you guys a bit later. So it's about 11 o'clock now and so I've been filming for the last probably hour or so uh, and I now have to tidy everything up so <laughs> cute cleaning montage. and I thought I'd do a little unboxing. I might have a few things to share with you a bit later on this afternoon after I've gone to the post office. Um, I'm not sure if you guys wanna see it, but I'll share anyway. Uh, this is a delivery from Staples Store. So essentially they've launched this new thing called Easy Shop. And the whole idea is that it will kind of streamline your current wardrobe and essentially reduce the number of clothing that is going to landfill. And you guys know that, you know, a big passion project of mine is trying to make my own wardrobe more sustainable. Uh, and I love the idea of only adding things to my wardrobe which are going to complement it and that are going to be really versatile and great for all year round wear. So um, I've got two pieces from the brand. Uh, let me kind of maybe I'll flip the camera around and also do a little try on so you can see. So Okay. So I got two linen pieces and this is the first one. God, it really is hard opening things just with one hand. So this is a really beautiful linen pinafore dress, which is going to look much nicer when I try it on for you guys. But I thought that would be a really nice addition to my spring summer wardrobe. And then in here, I've got a, I've got a linen shirt. So this is just a really nice oversized oatmeal colored linen shirt very very simple i thought it would be nice tied with you know a white skirt or something like that so let me try those on for you guys i gave both of these items a little bit of an iron just because they are linen and the first is this white midi dress so this is from the brand is called all that remains and it's just a really nice little apron dress 
with a low back. I like the fact that you could actually layer this over the top of um, something like a little skivvy. If you had a little gray skivvy or even a striped one I think would look really nice with this. It is a little bit big. I'm wearing the size AU6 and you can kind of see that there's definitely some room there on me. So uh, if you are thinking about picking this one up, uh, it's a size down for sure. Uh, next is the oversized shirt and I just wanted to show you how big it was. The brand of this one is called Wish You Were Here and this is sort of a one size fits all. Uh, let me just quickly uh, put it to how I would probably wear this. So I'd probably either just tie this at the waist and undo a couple of the buttons at the bottom or else wear it tucked in and then roll up the sleeves. Uh, I really kind of like that oversized slouchy look worn with something that's a little bit more fitted on the bottom. And I love the fact that it kind of works really well with my existing wardrobe. And you guys know how much I love linen pieces. Oh, look, there's Winnie. Hey, buddy. Hey, Winnie. Hey. I'm going to head into the city now just so I can get it over and done with. And I, I want to edit that video this afternoon and just get through some other work. Uh, everything seems to take a lot longer than you anticipate. So I thought I'd quickly talk you guys through my outfit. And you may have noticed that uh, we have rearranged our living room now that we've got a new sofa <laughs> so my sweater is from Everlane this is just the uh, cotton turtleneck sweater which I've tucked into some gingham trousers from Zara I love these they're actually a linen which is really nice it feels really nice against my skin too on my feet are my Everlane day heels uh, I think these would also look really nice with a pointed toe flat or something like that here's kind of a better look and then my bag is from lm this is in a really beautiful forest green color and i love how it looks against more neutral outfits like this one now and I actually didn't end up going outside I just went to the post office and then to go to my PO box to pick up um, a parcel which had arrived I'll show you guys what's inside uh, I believe it's my order from Kankin or Fjall Raven I am so butchering that I'm so sorry uh, to anyone who's Swedish who might be watching um, but essentially I wanted to buy this uh, kit which would allow me to put all of my photography gear inside so that I could carry it in a backpack that doesn't look like one of those really cumbersome uh, media photography backpacks that you see around I have this one for my drone and it is enormous it's really really oversized so I wanted something that was a little bit more compact and would be easy to take with me especially if I want to go walking or hiking and take some photos so uh, yeah let me kind of unpackage it and then we can see if it fits hopefully I measured the specs out correctly so I decided it was easier to put the photo insert into the bag off camera and it just fits which is perfect so essentially you open up the backpack and this is the photo insert in here and then when you open it up you've got all of the space to put your camera equipment so I'll just have to use these little organizers to set it up how I want but it will fit my uh, DSLR camera in there which is amazing I can't wait to use this when going hiking and stuff like that <laughs> And I think I'm going to wrap things up today here. It's actually uh, Luke and my wedding anniversary today. So we're celebrating two years. He actually took the day off on Friday so that we could uh, spend the day together just because Monday is kind of an awkward day to celebrate your wedding anniversary. So we went to the cinema and we saw First Man in Gold Class, which was really nice. Very spectacular movie. Very much enjoyed it. Ryan Gosling was great as Neil Armstrong. And then for dinner, we went out to a bar restaurant called Big Poppers, which was really cool. They play hip hop music and downstairs in the bar they have this mosaic tile on the ground of 
um, Biggie Smalls, which was pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> um, this evening, I actually don't know what we're going to be doing. We haven't really made a big deal of our wedding anniversary just because we've had so many other priorities. So, you know, we've redone our bathroom, which a whole renovation blog is going to be coming very soon. But in addition to that, we've also been saving up for other things around the house because we kind of want to really make it our own. So. I think it's going to be very low key. It's currently Space Month on Discovery Science, so I imagine we're probably going to watch a documentary or two because that's sort of what a lot of our evenings have consisted of recently. But yeah, I guess I will check in with you guys tomorrow. So yeah, see you tomorrow. Morning guys, so today is Tuesday. I've spent my whole morning working. I started around 7.30 and now I'm actually just about to head out and shoot my outfit of the day uh, just for some blog content. So maybe I'll show you what I'm wearing. You, can, you get a little bit of a sneak peek. Otherwise, if the blog post is already up, I will link it in the description box below. Uh, this afternoon, my dad's actually coming to stay. Him and my stepmom are driving up from Canberra. It was very, very last minute. He told me yesterday that he wanted to come up and visit. It's actually the first time they're really coming to get to see the house. Dad actually saw it, I think he arrived a couple days after we settled on the property and we got the keys. However, he hasn't seen anything that we've done to it, not the bathroom renovation or the floors, which we stripped back and sanded and also all the painting that we did. So that'll be really nice to see them. I think I'm probably gonna go and pick up some fish later this afternoon so that we can have that for dinner, which will be really nice. Probably that was salad. I don't know if I'm gonna vlog while they're here. Obviously, um, maintaining privacy with my family is something that's really important to me. I think you guys know. So yeah, that's sort of what's on the agenda today, just work and family. So I'll talk through my outfit, then go on to accessories. Um, my t-shirt is from Uniqlo. This is just one of the Uniqlo t U t-shirts. It's actually slightly cropped, so it probably comes down to about here on me. So it's good for tucking into high-waisted things. It's really thick cotton as well. So good if you like a weightier t-shirt and it washes very nicely. It sort of feels exactly the same as when I bought it. My necklace is from YCL Jewels and it's just a really pretty little choker with this coin detailing around it. My blazer is probably the hero of this outfit. This is the Everlane wool blazer and it's in the herringbone. I was so excited to see that this was coming back in stock. I missed out on it last year when they launched it and I signed up to the waitlist to be notified about when it came back in stock. I'm in love with it. I think it's very cool. I'm glad that I still get an opportunity to wear it while it's still relatively cool here in Sydney. Otherwise I do think it will be a bit of a staple for next year, but it fits really nicely. I'm wearing the US 2. It is quite oversized. It's the whole point of it, but I think it fits very well and it feels beautiful. Um, hold on. Let me fix up my bag. My bag is the same one I was wearing yesterday. It's a little baguette bag from LM. Then my belt is from Isabel Morant. You guys have seen this about a million times. My jeans are my favorite Dr. Denim high-waisted skinny jeans. I love these, they were such a great buy. Uh, then on my feet, sorry, don't mind Winston. Um, on my feet, I'm wearing my Vanelli two-toned pumps. So that's kind of a full look at the outfit. It's a little bit later in the day now. I've had lunch, I've just been working and I thought I'd quickly check in just because I suspect that dad's gonna be arriving pretty soon. Um, I know a lot of you really enjoyed when I talked about the books that I was reading uh, in, one of my last in one of my last vlogs. So I thought I'd give you a quick update on what I'm about to get stuck into. I finished reading Dictatorland. I really enjoyed it. Highly recommend if you enjoy non-fiction books. I think it's a really excellent read. Paul Kenyon is a great writer. Luke's given me um, Altered Carbon to read. I don't know if you guys have seen this on Netflix, but I personally like a bit of sci-fi. I really enjoyed that series. I thought it was was fantastic and I'm really excited about reading the book. I've heard really good things. I think Luke really enjoyed it because he read it first and he's actually got the other two books in the trilogy as well. So. I'm definitely going to be getting stuck into those once I finish this one. If you guys have any book recommendations, please drop them in the comments below because I'm sort of a bit stuck about what to read next. I tend to read a lot about the environment and about sort of how the fashion industry is destroying it and it's really depressing. So if you have anything that's maybe a little bit lighthearted or maybe some great non-fiction reads, I do love a bit of psychology and um, behavioral economics as well. Please let me know any of your recommendations. I'd love to go and check them out.
Hey guys, it's Wednesday. I actually just realized that I haven't picked up the camera at all today. My dad and my stepmom left this morning to go back to Canberra. It was sort of a bit of a flying visit because they were coming to pick something up. Uh, but really, really nice to see them. I'm so glad they got to come and stay. It was, and it was just great to catch up because I don't think we've really seen um, my dad or um, his wife at all this year just because of you know, saving and jobs or jobs that we'll be doing around the house. I've spent the day kind of working on a couple of different projects and I've got to take some photos for a client so that'll be the next thing that I do. Uh, it's actually another miserable day in Sydney. It's been almost three weeks of non-stop rain so <laughs> I'm not lying when I say I really cannot wait for spring to properly arrive and for it to just be warm and sunny. This evening I'm going to the movies with one of my girlfriends so that'll be really nice to actually catch up with her because it's been a while. We're going to go to Golden Age which is a lovely little boutique cinema in Surrey Hills. I love going there when I've had the opportunity. We're going to go see McQueen and I'm looking forward to seeing this film. Uh, tomorrow I think will be a good day for vlogging because I'm going to be out and about. I've got quite a few showroom visits and meetings so I'm going to bring you guys along with me and I think what I'll do is I'll show you how I pull clothing and sort of work with showrooms or brands to loan clothes. Obviously all of the clothes that I feature on my YouTube channel and on my blog, they don't all belong to me. <laughs> so um, the ones that I do shoot from brands, uh, it's great to be able to incorporate those styles just so I can showcase some other content that I might not be able to do normally, like my workwear content, which I know is something that you guys really enjoy. <laughs> Thursday. I've just been getting through a bit of work because as I said I've got to head out this morning for some showroom appointments. So I've put my video live which this week is a 15 item work wardrobe video. I hope that you guys have enjoyed it. I've been reading through all the comments and just replying to them before I leave and you guys have left me some really lovely messages so thank you to everyone who does take the time to write me something. I love reading all of your feedback and I make my best efforts to try and respond to everyone as well. So last night McQueen the movie was absolutely brilliant. Uh, it was really emotional to the end because obviously, you know, he took his life and it's very, very sad what happened and the circumstances leading up to it. And there were just some things that I learned um, about uh, where he, you know, the mental state that he was in uh, prior to his passing uh, and it really just breaks your heart. If anyone out there is struggling with those sorts of issues, um, I think it's really important that you go and talk to someone and get some help. Um, I've definitely been to a therapist in the past and I found that it really helped, especially with my anxiety and after my mum passed away, I probably should have gone to a therapist a bit more. Uh, so maybe I can put in the description box some Sydney-based services that I know of, uh, which might be helpful. Uh, if you know anyone who is kind of going through something really difficult, my girlfriend that I went for, she actually worked for McQueen when she lived in London, so uh, it was quite cool and she was saying to me she's got this really beautiful one-of-a-kind sample. I uh, never went into production, uh, but she said it was sort of a flesh-coloured uh, McQueen dress, so I've never seen this. I'm, I said to her I want to go around and play dress-ups <laughs> at some point. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be heading out pretty soon to go to the Shop Bop press preview. So this is for their holiday collections, which is great because I really want to film a sort of a holiday inspired lookbook or a sort of spring wedding lookbook. So I want that to go up next week. So I'm going to pull a dress to include in that. I've got some things from my own wardrobe that I'll be including, but uh, it's just nice to have uh, something else, some, something different to what I already own. Then after that, I am going to drop by MLM label to pull some stuff just for some upcoming content that I want to shoot. And then I'm going by the Frankie for pop-up. I wanted to quickly share a lipstick favorite because I've been using this lipstick pretty much every single day. It's from Clarins. This is what it looks like. It's one of their Jolie Rouge Brilliant lipsticks and the shade is called Nude Brick and it's just, I mean, it looks really dark. It almost looks like a dark brown, but I'm wearing it right now and it's sort of a your lips but better kind of a shade. Uh, I really like the formula. It's sort of it's got a bit of a sheen to it. It reminds me a lot of the MAC cream sheen lipsticks uh, and it's just really glossy. It makes my lips feel hydrated. Highly recommend. They sent me over a whole bunch of different lipsticks from the range and this one is probably my favorite because I do love a good neutral. Um, I might show you my outfit as well before I leave. So I've gone for something really simple because I am going to be trying things on. 
So my top is just a black skivvy. This is from Kate Sylvester. And actually, I think I probably featured this sort of a look in the video that went up today. <laughs> um, my skirt, this is from a brand called White Valentine and I got it from Princess Polly, I think it was. It's no longer available. However, they do have similar cuts, which I really think it's just kind of the cut most people tend to be after. I think I prefer this to the beige leopard one that I've got, uh, just because I actually think this one is much more figure flattering. The beige one makes you look very wide. But yeah, just a nice sort of bias cut skirt and I like how it floats out at the hem. On my feet I'm wearing my Everlane Day Heels. It's really humid in Sydney right now and I don't want to be wearing boots so if it does rain, which is supposed to storm a bit later on today, at least I'll be wearing some leather pumps as opposed to suede ones. My bag is my Kuyana tote bag and then I do have some earrings on as well. You might have seen these before, but these are just some really beautiful hoops from Stone and Strand. They've got little stars dangling along them. So yeah, that's kind of my outfit of the day. one shoulder detail as well. Yeah. I think it's really, really pretty. It's quite a nice statement piece for It's the end of the week. I think this is going to be a really long video, so I hope you enjoyed this one. Um, I've just had a parcel arrive, so I thought I'd show you what was inside because it's very interesting. Um, and today, I'm actually filming a video right now, and then I've got to get onto some work. I want to wrap up early, but we'll see how we go. As I mentioned yesterday, Luke's brother Sam and his wife Elise are here at the moment. They've got their little daughter Annabelle, so very excited to see her. I think we're going to go out for dinner tonight, um, and they're coming to stay with us over the weekend. So they're in the city right now yes let me let me show you this package uh hang on so this is the box that arrived as you guys know i'm trying to reduce my own use of single-use plastics so uh yeah pretty scary that one million new plastic bottles will be made by the time this box is open that's uh pretty ridiculous because once it's been made it never goes away so let's open this up and i might just affix you guys to the couch hang on so this will probably have launched by the time this video goes up, but essentially what they're doing is they are making uh, outerwear from recycled plastic bottles, which is really cool. So you can kind of see the process here of how it works. So it goes from plastic bottles to plastic flakes, plastic pallets to thread to outerwear. So that is very, very cool. It's good to see a single use product being used more than once uh, and by 2021, they are planning to eliminate all newly created plastic from their supply chain, which is amazing. So maybe I should show you the jacket that's inside here. Very excited about this. Um, also, we just need to take a moment. This jacket that I'm going to try on, it's made from 60 recycled plastic bottles. That's insane. A uh, quick little outfit change. I just realized that the clip where I was trying this on didn't seem to uh, save down to my memory card. So take two. So this is the jacket. It is a really nice oversized long parka and it feels really, really beautifully made. So it's really thick. It's really soft as well, like quite 
quite smushy if that's even a word <laughs> and it just feels you know high quality too just a nice nylon I feel like this would be really great if you lived in a cold climate I mean I live in Sydney so this would definitely be one of those things I take when I'm going on holiday anywhere cold nice big pockets too mm, oh my gosh I think these are lined with a microfiber so they feel really cozy in there and it's got a it's got a bit of a hood too yep that is cute if we were going to Iceland I would be taking this with me it is perfect thank you so much Evelyn I love it I forgot to show you guys those shoes uh, that Frankie for very kindly gifted me yesterday so I figured I would take the opportunity to show you them now so I feel like I've showed you guys quite a few things in this video I swear it's not always like this so these are what the shoes look like they are just absolutely gorgeous I really love this design how it's got the toe post here and then it has this cutout detail across your foot I will put them on so you can see what they look like on my feet I have very wide feet and I would say that the designs probably a little bit more catered towards those with a narrow foot however um, I personally don't mind that my foot kind of just hangs a little bit on the side I mean they're sandals so they're supposed to be comfortable and they are I like the fact that these have all that cushioning in them too so they're very comfortable it's like walking on a cloud I actually was in disbelief at how comfy they were when I was trying them on so hang on there you go so that is how they look on my feet you're gonna just have to mind the fact that there's still a wee bit of mess around here um, there you go there's kind of another angle they're very cool. They come in all these different colors too. I was kind of tossing up between this color and the black, but I think tan is a nice option to have, especially considering I've already got a pair of black sandals for summer. So I was just editing this video and I realized how long it is. I was a chatty Cathy this week. I'm so sorry. I don't want to take up too much more of your time. So I'm going to wrap things up. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me for the week. I would love to get your feedback on whether you want to get more vlogs like this from me every now and then. Uh, or if you prefer the what I wear in a week videos. Uh, I haven't shown you my outfit today, but I am just wearing uh, that Evelyn cashmere v-neck, which I love. Um, maybe if an... I'll put a picture here of what it looks like on. Um, I also just wanted to float the idea of Vlogmas. So I have been thinking about doing it this year. We're hosting Christmas this year. I don't really know whether my family would want to be on camera. Um, you know, privacy is something that's important to me. Uh, making sure that I respect what other people's wishes are. That kind of thing. Uh, but I thought you guys might like to see what a Christmas in Australia is like. So what a summer Christmas is like. So let me know what you think. Uh, if you're keen, I will definitely kind of fit that in maybe I'd upload every second day or something like that and a mix of vlogs and then sit down content and lookbooks so yeah let me know your thoughts on that um thank you guys again for watching I hope you have the most amazing week ahead and I will see you soon bye